I'm sure you guys are aware that the low budget airlines will try to nickel and dime you to death. But I gotta tell you about an airline that is taking us to a whole new level. What's up guys, it's Greeny. I recently took a trip from Thailand to Hong Kong and Hong Kong to Taiwan, then back to Thailand. And I booked it through what I thought was a reputable airline, this one. Have you heard of this one? Hong Kong Express. You think you're traveling to Hong Kong, Hong Kong Express. It's actually, I think, part of the like Cathay Pacific airline group, which I've never heard anything bad about. And let me tell you, what happened to me? They got me, and they got me good, and they got me twice. Two different extra charges I had to make because of their little, their little scam they got going. And I, in my personal opinion, having booked hundreds of airline trips and traveling all over the world, in my opinion, they're scammers. This is what happened. I was booking a multi-destination trip. I wanted to go from Thailand to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to Taiwan. And that's available there on that web page. So I thought I booked it. I booked a certain date going to Hong Kong. I booked another date going to Taiwan. And I checked out and I paid for my trip. And instantly when I looked at my itinerary, you know, after booking the trip, both the dates were the same. They had my dates the same going from Thailand to Hong Kong and Hong Kong to uh, Taiwan. And I know I didn't book it that way. I'm like, what the hell? I'm looking at this. It's the same date. It's like I'm getting to Hong Kong and then instantly jumping on another flight and going to Taiwan the same day. And I know that I booked two different dates. I'm like, I'm not crazy. I know I booked two different dates. I immediately, I mean, this is like seconds after I booked and paid for this. I went online and you can't talk to an agent. You can't talk to anybody. I'm talking to some automated thing and I'm explaining what's going on. And you know, there's, there's no results there. So I had to wait till the next business day because the office was closed and I called and I talked to a live representative. I explained what happened. I said, I know, I know I put the correct dates in the computer. I don't know if there's a glitch. I don't know what happened, but it booked both my flights the same day. They were different dates. I told her the dates and she's like, well, I don't know. I can book now. There's nothing we can do except for refund your tax. Can't refund the flight, just the taxes. If I would have changed the dates, they wanted to charge me $100, 100 US dollars. And it's only like an $80 trip. I'm like, are you kidding me? I had to go online again and book another flight for the other date, another one-way flight, I think from like, like Hong Kong to, to Taiwan. But after my trip got over, I got home and I decided to investigate this. But before we get to my investigation, which I have a screen recording, I'll show you exactly what they're doing, exactly how this scam is working. And it is a scam. They're probably making tons and tons and tons of money off of unsuspecting fools like me. But, but it's their, their website. It's their glitch. It's their scam. It's them doing this. So the second way that they scam me is their website and their app does not ask for a middle name. It just asks for your first and last name. I booked the flight. When I flew from Bangkok to Hong Kong, no problem. No problem at all. When I was leaving Hong Kong, they wouldn't let me check in online. I get to the airport, they're like, oh, your passport doesn't match. Your name's this, this, and this, not this and this. I'm like, well, that's my middle name, your website. And I pull up the, the app and I show them. I go, you guys don't ask for a middle name. You only ask for first and last name. And I said, it, I didn't have a problem flying here. Why is there a problem? No, 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 it has to match. This was like a third party um, company working for Hong Kong Express. So there was no actual representatives to Hong Kong Express. And they actually told me like, oh, a lot of people get mad about this. A lot of people get mad about this. They made me pay 44 US dollars or they wouldn't give me my ticket. I couldn't leave uh, without paying an extra $44 for them to add my middle name. So that, that pissed me off. So I get home and I go onto the website to look at the dates, look at what's happening with this multi-entry trip that I booked and check this out. This is what, this is what they're doing here. You can see here on the Hong Kong Express webpage, you got one-way round-trip multi-city. I was attempting to book a multi-city trip, which is what I thought I was doing. I wanted to book from Bangkok to Hong Kong. So for an example here, I'll show you. We'll do a date. We'll say, uh, 
let's say September 4th, my first leg. Then I want to travel from Hong Kong to Taiwan, and I'm going to pick a date in the future that I want to book. So let's see, I'll, uh, I'll just put the 25th in here. But you can see it changed my first date to the 25th. So now both days are the same. You know, that's that wasn't the intention of my trip. They 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 changed it themselves, which is kind of crazy. And I didn't notice till after. Because who's going to notice if you book flights all the time? You just zip through the web page and you know, you know, if you know what you're booking and you book it correctly, there's no reason to second, you know, double check your your entry if you know you did it right in the first place. And you can see here, both both flights the 25th. And that's what happened to me. So you can see it's a total scam. It's either a glitch or they're doing it intentionally to steal money. But you know, when you notice it you and you call them, they should refund your money or change your flight. Like it's their error on their website. Here it is, you know, black and white. I screen recorded it doesn't matter what date you put in when it's multiple entry and I tried it like five different times and then you put the next date in it changes them both to the same date like I didn't type that in and like I said in in that recording there you know when you you travel a lot and you're just book stuff and you know all right I put the right dates in you you're not double checking everything when you know that you put the right date in sure my fault I didn't recheck it but why do I need to recheck it when I put the correct dates in in the first place they are scammers this is just a way for them to to take money from us to scam so i will never fly hk hong kong express again they are low life scammers so what do you guys think have you guys ever flown this airline before has anything like this ever happened to you before on any other airline i mean you know maybe it's my fault a little bit but why should it be my fault if i know that i booked it right the first time like why do i got to recheck somebody else's work and then they rip me off Now, a little caveat to the story is I reported all this to my credit card to get a refund. And when they want you to do it online, they only give you 150 characters. I couldn't explain anything. I didn't have enough characters to explain what happened. I call them, I explain all these things, and then they send me an email and they want me to attach files. Well, it won't even let me attach the screen recording I did to show exactly how the scam works. So, for the second or third time the night, I'm going to have to call a credit card company again to, to explain what happened and say, hey, how can I get you this screen recording to show you what exactly happened? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to their channel. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Greeny out.